Hello and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about a refracting telescope in the normal adjustment. So what we're going to first do is we're going to talk about this idea of a refracting telescope. So just to recap, lenses here, so here's my lens. Light will come in and it will be refracted like this. And it will cross at something called the principal focus. Now what a refracting telescope does is it has another lens here which can take this information okay, and bring that to our eye there. And what I'm going to talk about today is a refracting telescope in something called the normal adjustment. Now every lens has its own what we call focal length and that is the distance between the middle of the lens to the, where its principal focus is. Every object has one, every lens will have one, okay? And this is important. So what I'm going to draw is I am going to draw an example of a telescope in the normal adjustment. And I'm gonna do two diagrams of this because it depends what the exam board asks. So this is with axial rays. And this here is with non-axial rays. So, in both instances, what I draw is the first thing I draw is I draw the first lens. Okay? And this here is called the objective lens. Because it's the thing that is looking at the stars. And what I draw is I draw a dotty line in the middle of that there and I also draw a dotty line going like that. okay so also draw for an axial ray an axial means it follows an axis and in this case it's going to be this axis here what you draw is the first one you draw is the light ray that goes through the crossing point of the center the symmetrical point because that it doesn't actually get affected. I then draw one above it, one below it, okay, and this part you have to make sure you have a ruler. You have them, you draw one, and you draw the other, crossing it, okay. You then have another lens, and I always draw the second lens after. You'll find out with the non-axial why in a minute. So I draw the second lens here. This is the eyepiece lens. And what I do is, I'll make it a little bit bigger. It reaches and it'll come out straight. Okay. And this is where your eye is. So the light rays come in. Remember, please draw your light, light um, arrows on it. And they come out there. Now the distance between here and here is the focal length of the objective lens. So this length here is the focal length of the objective lens. This length here is the focal length of the eyepiece. And this is what's known as the normal adjustment. That the lenses are exactly the sum of their two focal lengths apart. So if this focal length of the objective was 10 centimetres, and the focal length of the eyepiece was five centimetres, I would have them separated by 15 centimetres. Okay, this is what is meant by the normal adjustment. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do non-axial, and this one is the vial one. 
However, it's the one that is asked for the most. You'll be, they'll ask you to draw a telescope in the normal adjustment, and they will say the word axial or non-axial. If they say axial, they would have a lovely diagram like this. If they want non-axial, they want this, and I'm going to show you how I draw it. So again, I start with my objective lens, and I draw these lines of symmetry. Okay. Now, much like the first one, any ray that comes into contact with the crossing point, the symmetrical point, is not refracted. So that's the one I'm going to draw first. And I'm going to draw it as shallow as possible, but still being non-axial. Okay. So this ray is coming in, it's going through the centre and it's not being refracted. This is because it's going through the optical centre of the lens. The reason it is non-axial is because there is an angle here. Incidentally, this angle relates to angular magnification because this is the angle of the image. Okay. I then draw the one below it. So I have a line coming in parallel. And this one then goes dead straight. Okay. Then I draw another one, the one above it. Okay. Coming in. And because I've already got my start and focal weight, I force it through that. Okay. okay. I'm now going to draw my eyepiece lens in. And this is why I always draw the second. Okay. It doesn't matter if it doesn't quite go through the axis, and it doesn't matter how, if it's much bigger than your objective lens, okay? They're not going to mark you down for having things like this. What they're after is very key that you have a non-axial ray and what it does in a minute. So this ray, they come in. And these are then refracted to the eye like this. And this angle here between the axis, okay, for the optical center, that is the angle of magnification. Okay, do apologize, it's not the angle of the image, this is the angle of the unaided eye. Okay, and this is the angle of magnification or that of the image because this is what you're going to see. As you can see, this angle is much bigger than this angle here, so it has been magnified. Now again, this distance here to here is the focal length of the objective lens, and this distance here to here is that of the eyepiece, and you'll have to lay all those on there too. So that is a telescope in the normal adjustment with axial and non-axial rays here. Okay. This is a fully labelled diagram. You may be asked for either one. There we go. So that is a refracting telescope in the normal adjustment.